All right, so the new coin shop Zeldris just released, and he is a very interesting unit, actually. He is a... He's one of those units that are very good, but they definitely need a better place to um, actually have been, have use, right? But looking at what he does, he actually you know, has a really good kit. But again, um, it, it will lack um, places for him to be used, but still really good. So, his first attack card is the same one as Green Whirlin, where he takes off one ultimate gauge or three at the maximum. Uh, and his second card is the same as Red Arthur, but they buff this card, actually, to now it disables recovery skills on the level one, and which is really good. Um, this came in clutch, um, while I was, I was playing on stream, I've already, already, uh, took a spin on him on stream. I actually soloed Crimson Hell for the first time, it was first attempt as well, uh, using him. I used him, Darian Gopher, with Red Elizabeth in the back, and he was very useful, because he took off Ultimate Gauge from the Crimson. But, his ultimate, of course, applies Spike, is the same one as the blue, blue, uh, Zaldris. His passive is his most interesting asset. Increases basic stats of all allies by 6% for every ally and enemy in battle possess possessing a commandment. Now, the fact that he boosts all allies, regardless if they're a commandment unit or not, that's very good. I did make a team when I was playing with him, which was him, Estorosa, and Las Vegas Meliodas, and Las Vegas Meliodas definitely was getting, you know, stronger because of it. A basic stats mean attack, defense, HP, it doesn't count, you know, crit damage, crit chance, and stuff like that. And his commandment, of course, is the same one as the blue one, removes debuffs from, one, from allies or enemies that move a card, but they cannot gain ult gauge from moving cards, and they also lose an ult gauge from moving cards. So, yeah, but regardless, Zaldris is a unit with really good stats, and I have him with um, with UR gear as well. He is gonna put up some good numbers. Like I said, I did solo Crimson Hell first attempt because he is actually very good. But with all things said, he is gonna lack some stuff. Of course, I'm gonna take him on a stage real quick just to show off damage, and then I'll take him on PvP as well. He is gonna lack places to be used, but... There is a new game mode coming up of the um, the tower or whatever, and for all things considered, he might be a really useful and good unit in that game mode. Now, unlike the other Zaldus, where he the other Zaldus relies on critting. If he doesn't crit, he just doesn't do damage. This Zaldus is quite different, and um, he doesn't rely on that. So I'm gonna show you. Before using Eastern buffs, I, buffs, I want to show Zeldris by himself, right? So, let me show you the damage real quick on this card right here. He has really good animations, by the way. Really good animations. It's sick. It's sick. He didn't crit. Uh, when I was playing on, with him on stream, he was critting all the time, and it was super funny, because we're, it's a meme now that Blue Zeldris just doesn't crit, right? But this Zeldris is, has been critting, so... Damage right here real quick on level 3, and then I'll just do this, it's fine. 230k. 230k with no attack buff, might I add. And did you see how many times he crit? He crit on every hit. It's because Zaldris is a crit-based character that has an insane chance to crit. He has 70-something percent chance to crit. Like, like... <laughs> He has a 81% chance to crit because of the, um, the, um, Jericho in the back, right? But yeah, you see his basic stats right here? 21k. This is no attack boost. This is no attack boost. He's being, of course, boosted by Jericho in the back and, of course, himself. Oh, yeah, and for this, I'm not using any extra commandments because, um, it wouldn't be worth it. I mean, I, okay, I can actually instead, right? I can also take him in a stage, right? 250k. Type neutral. I can take him on the stage with Commandments and just test his damage like that, just by playing the game with like level ones and stuff. That could also be good. Let me take a. Let me pick a story stage that's actually decently difficult and do that. So with how his passive works, um, Zaldris is. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Zaldris, but with how his passive works, only units in battle count. So the fourth unit can be anyone, so I just put As Askler because he's the required unit for this stage. But let me check the stats. 17, 17k. Um, mm, 
I guess this tab boost isn't all that big. Like 3.5k. That I do have three characters though. Hmm. Hmm. I guess. Wait, wait, real quick. Yeah, I just want you to do the math, and of course it's correct. It doesn't seem like that big of a boost. The HP seems very boosted because, yeah, HP is insane, right? The the numbers you get, so it gets an extra 33,000. But yeah, so let me just uh, do some damage. Oh, I forgot the Estor. Estoros is a cuck. I forgot about that. It's fine, though. Oh, there he is going to have a field day. 64k, level 1. Daria's gonna have a field day, because not only her stats are boosted, she can boost herself as well. It's actually big. I can cleanse uh, Astrolos' thing. Oh, not anymore! <laughs> oh! I... I'm not gonna be able to cleanse, because they just boosted Astrolos' card, and now it seals thing. Oh, oh I can't actually. All right. Um... Oop. Alright. I actually wanna see... Dariari's stats after I get a, a few boosts. That would be interesting to, to uh, take a look at. I mean, I would have to cleanse, of course. I would have to cleanse as well. Does... Does, this, does Dariari's card still count if I attack while Astoros is having his ultimate? I don't think it does, but I want to check. Um, do this. It doesn't. Unlucky. I guess Dariari needs to, needs to uh, do damage for... Oh, it did count. She just didn't... She just didn't lose her passive, I guess. But it did count. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Her passive didn't get... Okay, that's good. Yeah, just check, check his damage real quick. Do this. And then... I'm gonna just do this for the two extra buffs for the Riyari. 51k. 66k. Level 2. With no boosts, of course. I mean, he is boosting himself, right? So, I guess he's a booster. He's a support unit, technically. I mean, his image is alright. Like I said, because he takes off ultimate gauge, he can be such a useful unit. Because, like, right now, right? Storosa has his ultimate, and his ultimate is super annoying. So I can, you know, just take it off, and boom, that's it. But there's not much place for him in the game is what I mean, right? There's not much activity that he should- he's attack debuffed, so he's gonna hit a little, a little less. There's no activity where he's gonna be, you know, so, so useful. So is what I mean. The new activity of the tower could be very good. Now I'm gonna take on PvP, and on PvP I genuinely really liked the team that I thought of on stream, that I was playing with, which was him as Tauros in Lost Vein. I really liked it, because his commandment completely cucks the enemy, right? Um, and then Estoros and Meliodas having extra stats was also really good. Just by naturally having them, you know? The extra HP on Estoros, it kind of matters. Oh, nice, nice, no, no crit, nice. Takes off his ultimate gauge, so he can't do anything. He can't use his ultimate, which is super, super annoying. Yeah, like I said. Um, he's really interesting, so let me take on PvP now, and uh, kind of show him off. Alright, it took me a second, just, uh, usually I start recording as soon as I join the match, but my my keyboard is out of battery, I need to <laughs> replace Okay, so he can seal the um, the healing from King, which is really useful, but I'm not going to use it right now. What I'm actually going to do is this. Uh, let me get the cable to <laughs> recharge my keyboard. But yeah, he can seal the healing from King, which is really useful. It's really useful, um, not with this team build, because I'm not using like attack sealing or anything, but in general, sealing healing cards because of cleanse and stuff is very, very good. Alright, so why Estorosa? Uh, Estorosa is... Okay, Estorosa is very useful uh, when it comes to, you know, hoarding ultimates, because you can literally, you know, I can get, you know, especially if I go for if I go second. Going second with the team is actually very good, because then I can get one ultimate, and I just do this. And um, Esther also uses the counter and just doesn't allow for the uh, the character to be touched, which is really useful. I mean, if you're facing Lilia, the okay damage there. Esther also has good um, defense stats. That means uh, he has really good uh, um, crit defense and. Um, 
So Zarge is the Inquiry there. Wait, has, I'm pretty sure he also has... Um... Oh, he only has 25% resistance, it's not that good. But yeah, I didn't have a counter Vesteros, which is very unfortunate. If I had a counter Vesteros, I could have just uh, nullified the uh, takeoff ultimate gauge right there. But now that I do, I can just do this, this, and... Uh, there's nothing for me to do here. I might as well just move Zarjus' card. Although, Zarjus' commandment with the blue one made so much sense, right? Because the, bl the, uh, the blue one would strictly benefit from his own commandment just by uh, moving cards and losing his ultimate gauge. It was very beneficial for him. But the red one doesn't have any benefits. It's just, you know, bad. But it doesn't really matter, I feel like. Especially because you are supposed to use commandments in your team. You might want to put someone else as the representative commandment. Um, like... Uh, it's hard to say because I I hate all the commandments, <laughs> but mm, I guess Gallons is fine. Gallons commandment is fine. I forgot to check their stats. I need to do that. I faced the team yesterday. I was so confused. I was like, King Broom and Vester Wilson? Kind of makes sense, not gonna lie. But okay, 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 okay. So I want to check their stats. Vester Wilson is at almost a hundred thousand. This is ungeared. Almost a hundred thousand HP, ninety thousand HP, ninety-one thousand HP, eight point four k. This is ungeared. Those are really good stats. Let me do this, um, and then this, and this. Going like I said, I actually want to go second. I want to get a match where I go second because it's really good to go second with this team. Um, it's especially because. Zaldris cocks the person going first because you can't move cards to gain ultimate gauge, which is like the most common strategy for getting ultimate gauge, right? For the counter! It's by far the most common strategy, yeah. Him going second really was good for him because then he got, yeah. Ah, why don't you go second? Uh, hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to attack and then do this. If he crits my, my Meliodas with his, um... Full counter! If he crits my Meliodas with his, um... With his Hellbrain, it's fine, because like I said, um... <laughs> my units have much better stats now. Like, he's, he's not even gonna do that much damage. You know what he can- oh, Tell me he didn't get a Petrify. Swear to god. I can take off Ultimate Gage of Zaljus, it's fine, but... Yeah, it almost did nothing, because my stats are so high. He got a Petrify, but it's fine, because Zaljus can take off Ultimate Gauge. He didn't crit Meliodas, which is unfortunate. Zaljus can take off Ultimate Gauge, so I'm gonna do this, and then this, and this. Take off his Ultimate Gauge. Please don't combine cards. He combined cards for Astorosa, of course. <sighs> of course he combined cards for Astorosa. I swear to God, of course. Of course, he combined cards for Astorosa. Mm. Tell me he can't take off my ultimate gauge of Astorosa. Tell me. Please. Please, please. He can't. Okay. That's fine. He couldn't take off my ultimate gauge. That's good. I'll be so upset. <laughs> I would actually be so upset. Okay, let me do this. This. And... This. If you don't know where Astorosa's... Um, this because it's fun. If you don't know what Astoros' ultimate does, it nullifies the enemy's next turn. Um, attack wise, if you attack, he will just do a full combo. So, that's why I was upset. Oh, he attacked. This is not a bot. Like, no bot is like this many good plays. He was actually just playing normally. He just messed up. I guess he's, maybe he didn't see. <laughs> I don't know. Th that was a weird play. Alright, let me go to the next match. Like I said, I guess his commandment is helping more than anything, but I want to show his not only his uh, ceiling card in action. I mean, I guess taking off the ultimate gauge was very useful because I took off King's ultimate gauge, but that was about it for now. Actually, before I go, because I have the opportunity to, let me do this. This, I guess. 53k is not so if not so bad and ungeared. That's not bad at all. That's level one ultimate. It's not gonna hit that hard. Yeah. All right. All right. The it's a different person. How? 
How are this many people using this thing? All right. So I'm gonna go for um this this and this. Like I said, I prefer to go second. I really want to go second, but the game is not letting me. So unfortunate. Mm, it's, like, <laughs> it's actually good. As his Estorosa is actually buffing my Zelgis as well. My, my units in general, right? Because he's a commitment. Now, the one thing is, the Zelgis is being debuffed, so he might actually not kill Estorosa with his ultimate. He might. Fudu counter. He was using old food, but I guess, yeah, because combining cards is not really allowed right now. He's getting cocked. And then, if possible, I want to seal his healing card. Crit, please. Leave a need. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Seal his healing card. It's very useful, just, yeah, he had to cleanse right there. It's very useful to seal healing cards. Mm. Now, he has to either, you know, petrify or take off Meliosa's ultimate gauge. Um, if he goes for taking it off, in general, I can take off the petrify, but I wouldn't be able to take off the petrify and get the ultimate. What I could do is if he goes for petrify Meliosa, I can move the card, right? Zelda's commitment is going to cleanse the debuff, and I can actually kill is uh, Hellbrun. But I can also take off his ultimate gauge, so... Ah, I'm lucky to incorrect. He just wants to spam to get the ultimate, huh? Oh, smart! Okay, okay. Now. I can do this, and this. Hellbrum, like like last match, right? He's not going to do that much damage. Um, my units have way too much HP and defense. And because I have a Starosa, he can't do anything about my other unit. He can't do anything about my Leolus. Like, physically, he cannot. The only way he would have been able to is if somehow he kills this way, which is not going to. Again, like I said, Master also has way too much HP. He has, like, almost 100,000 HP because of Zeldris. Yeah. Not even close. So. Wait! He... <laughs> Hellbro removes stances! <laughs> it's been so long that I actually face a Hellbrum. I forgot he removes stances. I legitimately forgot that Hellbrum removes stances. And you know what he did? He also forgot because he didn't click the target. He didn't click my Estorosa with Merlin. He just let Merlin attack thinking he would straight away attack him because, you know, um... He was the main target. So, she just targeted randomly and it went for Zaldrus. Damn, that's tough, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go until I can go second, honestly. I, I wanna get that match or I go second. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh. One of the most common teams have. Ooh, I go second. Perfect. Um, yeah, because I go second, he only has one ultimate gauge. And this is actually perfect. Wow. So, I'm gonna attack with both uh, my Zaldrus cards. And this is gonna combine and then I'll use the Estorosa card. And that will give me both Asterosis and Zaldrus' ultimate, and there's nothing he can do about it. Nice one. Okay. Hmm. Another idea. Another idea. Um, <laughs> what I can actually do as well is this. I can actually do this. That will give me both Lost Vein and Asterosis' ultimate. <laughs> that that's also good. I just want to show that. I just want to show that if you go second, right? The enemy, because he can't combine cards to gain ultimate gauge, gets omega cocked. Right? He gets omega cocked by that fact. Fudu Kanta! Gets omega cocked by the fact. Fudu Kanta! Oh man. Having 
I, I'm not gonna completely say that I'm surviving because of Zelda's, but having the extra um, HP and defense certainly helps. From the passive, of course. I mean, it is only 12%, but still. We'll do it! It's fine, I use this Taurus's ultimate, so he can't, um... He can't attack me next turn, and I'm completely fine because I have a takeoff ultimate gauge card, just in case. So there's not really anything he can do. I can just... take off his ultimate gauge. Because that's a card Zaljus has, I guess. He is good! Like, he's actually genuinely good. But... But that crew out. He is genuinely good. It's the thing, right? He just... Like I said in the beginning of the video, he's not gonna have that much of a place. Not right now. I'm really hoping that the mode that I talked about, the um, the tower thing, is going to be that place for him. He hits, he hits pretty okay, like 21k, it's pretty good. It's because all his stats are very nice. Like his, uh, you know, crit damage is good, his crit resistance, his um, crit chance is good, his pierce is good, like every, all his stats are good. As any Zeldra's unit that comes out, is gonna be good by his stats alone, which is which is really nice. And I have all the costumes as well, so that helps. Because, uh, you know, it's Zaldris, so I was like, okay, I need, I need all the costumes, right? But yeah, um, next video, I don't Zaldris will be on Geared. And like I said, of course, I do have UR gear for him, so he will be, you know, a little better than maybe Elizabeth Showcase was. But uh, yeah, so wait for that. He he can be very good. He's worth the 10, he's, okay, no unit is worth 10 coins. All right, I was gonna say he's worth the 10 coins. Wait for his discount and buy him. No unit is worth 10 coins. Wait for his discount. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.